Hey, 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 so let's talk more about the uh, chasing your tail. I got the uh, a brand new Raspberry Pi 5, 8 gig, as I said uh, a little bit earlier, and got Raspbian all uh, set up on it, installed, updated, took a little bit of time for that, and so that was good. We have a nice solid platform now. So now the next thing that I needed to do was install Kismet on there. And Kismet is a, it's a fantastic wireless tool. It deals with Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, a bunch of other types of signals. It does all the hard part and it saves everything in down to a .kismet file, which is just a SQLite database. And so then all our Python code is gonna have to do is come through and parse through that live. And so once Kismet is up and configured, really the hard part should be done. It should be all over but the crying. Then it'll just be uh, getting chasing your tail working on that and documenting those steps and then using cursor to uh, to go through and improve it. So to get Kismet installed, here is what I had to do. So if you look in here, kismetwireless.net, docs, readme, installing on Linux. First things first, we had to install a bunch of these core dependencies. No big deal there. They all went through absolutely fine. No issues in the latest, like I said, updated Raspbian Pi. I then did this uh, sudo apt install RTL433, got that done. These down here we don't need because we're not using the remote listeners on there, so I didn't worry about that. Now, what I did then is I did git clone to uh, clone it into a directory right there, cd'd into it, right? We uh, ran dash conf or, um, excuse me, period forward slash configure to configure the code. At this point, I ran into an error, and the error was it was looking for a dependency that did not exist. It was looking for Lib RTL SDR. As you see down here, we have Lib RTL SDR zero, but it's not the exact thing it was looking for. And this just goes to show you how much things have changed. Right? A couple of years ago, when I was originally working on this, uh, running that down, trying to figure out what to do, like it could have taken me several hours, right? It, it really could. In this case, I just took all the output. I pasted it into my good friend ChatGPT, and this is what it came up with. Do, 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 do. Looks like you're running a common confusion. When a program's configure script checks for libstl sdr, it's actually really looking for a PC file installed by the librtl sdr dev package. So we just, uh, pseudo apt update had already been done. We just ran this and sdr dev it installed, sdr zero was already installed ran this just can't hurt the RTL SDR and once I did that and tried to configure again then everything was fine so really kind of crazy like I said before it could have taken me hours now it took me the hardest part or the excuse me the longest part was really just opting to chat GPT on my Raspberry Pi so I could use it and run that so that was kind of fantastic now if we come back here and we look down once that was done cloned it in after the uh, configure was done, make version and then make. Now make compiles it all up, doesn't even install it, it just compiles it. I remember this before taking a long, long time on the older version of the Raspberry Pis I was using. I thought, hey, this is super powerful. It's a Pi 5, right, eight gigs of RAM. It should be quicker. Still took literally over an hour, right? It, it took over an hour to go ahead and compile Kismet, but it was like noisy, right? It showed me a lot of stuff, but there was no errors, no issues. Once everything was compiled, then we just skip down here, right? Sudo make sudo id install. We have to add the user, right? You see your user here to the Kismet group. If we checked and ran groups, it still, even after I closed the terminal window and ran groups again, it, um, it still wasn't showing my user as added to the Kismet group, but then I just rebooted the Pi and then it worked absolutely fine. It showed my user, my username is Matt, added to the Kismet group. And so in that case, we were good to go. The next steps that I needed to do is I just took an alpha wireless card. I'll get the exact uh, make and model. I know I talked about it before. I think it's on the Chasing Your Tail GitHub repository, but I'm going to initiate a new one on that anyway. It's not my favorite form factor, but the card itself is uh, is very good. And I got that and put it in the Pi. Was able to put it into monitor mode, just a couple of Linux command line command. Then when I started up Kismet, Kismet ran successfully. 
clicked on the little hamburger menu in the upper left to enable sources, enable the Wi-Fi, boom, 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 could see all the Wi-Fi. Enable the built-in Bluetooth to the Raspberry Pi and was able to see the Bluetooth around too. So the built-in Bluetooth and then the external Alpha USB card placed into monitor mode both worked. Before, I remember when I put a screen on the Raspberry Pi, that killed the Bluetooth. It was this really weird thing. It was a known issue. It was kind of frustrating, so I had to go USB Bluetooth as well, too. But so far with this, I'm good, but I haven't popped a screen on there yet. So that's what we're looking at right now. Kismet is up and running. It's seeing the signals. So like I said at the beginning of this video, uh, frankly, the hard part should be over. It should be over. So it's, uh, I'm looking forward to getting that up and running and then using cursor to make a lot of improvements that I've been wanting to make over the past couple of years. I just haven't, haven't had the dev time, but now with cursor, that is much, much lower bar for me to clear, much quicker to do. So hope you're enjoying this and look forward to having a finished product soon and seeing what improvements we can make. Thank you.